Hey, you there. Yes, you. You look tired, old sport. Fatigued. A tad downtrodden, perhaps. What's the matter, chum? Cat got your tongue? Or is it something else? A broken heart? No? No, that's not it. Indigestion. A case of the heebie-jeebies? I know. It's domestic malady, isn't it? A deep sense of ennui? It means you're feeling sad and lost. I knew it. So what will it take to make you feel alive again, then, eh? An adrenaline rush of some sort? Well, how about going for the full sugar cola drink instead of the diet version? No? Okay. Well, how about getting in your car and doing 35 in a 30 zone? Oh. Oh, not enough for you then, eh? Yeah, you're a chap that likes to walk on the wild side, I see. You take your coffee black, your bacon smothered in nitrites, and you play it fast and loose. Well, try this for size, guy. Visit your neighbor, old Mrs. Wilbraham, next door. Take her a cake, perhaps. Reminisce with her about the good old days and put a smile on her face until she finally dozes off. Then go, grab a cushion, and proceed to smother her until she dies. Really feel the struggle for life. A desperate attempt to avoid the cold kiss of death as her essence ebbs away. Maybe you'll absorb her fading life force, like some sort of parasitic succubus. Either way, you'll feel like you again. Oh, not for you, eh? Well, maybe you're not the man I thought you were. You know, we have names for people like you in the army. You're a soft Susan. A milk sop. A lily-livered pinkle pumper. Oh, oh, so you are a man then. See yourself as a big guy, do you? Then prove it. See that kid out in the street? Go and pick it up. Hold its delicate, youthful body in your hand. Gain its trust. Then slowly place your hand around its head as it gazes lovingly into your eyes and crush its skull. Enjoy the crunchy yet gooey sensation between your fingers. Uh, uh, come on, don't give me that look, Mr. Judgy. Hey, wait, where are you going? No, wait, wait, I I've got more ideas. We could blind a rhinoceros at the zoo. Or how about we make a cruel meme about one of the little mixed girls? You know, the one that did the bad Jamaican accent? Or we could donate tickets for a co-play gig to a local charity. Look, just come back here at once, you pathetic pinkle pumper. You could have been the bonnet to my Clyde. I'll even let you be Clyde if that's what you want. But just get back here. Will you just get back here this instant, or I will destroy you! Now, what you've seen today is just a dramatisation. But that doesn't make what we've depicted any less dangerous in real life. The threat from dismembered Pathé Newsreader voices is genuine. And if you don't stay alert to the dangers, then you could join thousands of victims who've already succumbed to their wicked goadings. My own son is such a victim. He's only four years old, yet six months ago, he was approached by a voice very similar to the one you've heard today. The result? He's now serving three life sentences and he won't be eligible for parole until 2065. He doesn't even know how to tell the time yet, which is probably a good thing because he's going to be there for a long time. But still, let that sink in. So remember, if everything around you turns black and white and you start to hear the clipped tones of a 1940s English newsreader, then stop what you're doing Put everything down and calmly, yet quickly, evacuate the room.